Just a quick recap, this is part two of my whole journey with pinball. The first part, if you didn't watch it, go check it out. It's pretty fairly short with 30 minutes. This part of the video is really the main reason why I made this whole video. And it's talking about the journey of buying the Godfather and Toy Story and everything. So I hope you enjoy and this is gonna be a long one, longer than part one. <laughs> And I hope that their first child be a masculine child. I pledge my ever ending loyalty for your daughter's bridal present. Don Carleon, I'm gonna leave you now because I know you are busy. I <laughs> <laughs> it always it's it's always amazing because if you walk basically it's set to like if you walk past it it'll say a quote and uh, it's always funny because I'll be sitting there and my wife will come and some of the quotes is just like loud not loud yelling but it's loud kind of like how that was and not to mention the gunners went off <laughs> anyway what was I getting at because that just threw me off <laughs> we were talking about the release trailer for The Godfather so. Keep in mind, again, I left pinball on. I had no intentions of buying a real pinball machine. I had no no intentions. Even in the heat of the moment, I didn't know when like Godzilla came out. I wasn't up to date like I am now, or I should say I wasn't really watching, you know, like I am now. So when I left pinball on, I didn't have any intentions of buying a real pinball machine. I was like, okay, I got my fix. These guys have a lot of machines and I could pay 20 bucks and I could have fun. Keeping in mind though, the sound, you know, keep, you know, audio, like I said before, audio is a big thing to me. And then also keep in mind that the machines may be down slash not working properly. As I'm working in the garage, I get a message from Project Canada. I feel like there's a video that I, every video I mention him. I get a message from Project Canada. He goes, did you see the new Jersey Jag pinball machine? And I was like, no. I, again, at this point, I've just experienced pinball on a couple weeks after. I had no intentions, I didn't know, like, I didn't look it up, I got my fix. Sure enough, he sends me a link, and it's The Godfather. And, I, if you, I mean, I'm not gonna, I won't, I don't wanna post it, I can't post it, but go watch the promo video, I'll probably just put it in the corner here. I watched the promo video, and I was just in shock and awe. I, my jaw was probably on the floor the whole time, I was like, whoa, this looks gorgeous. <laughs> The promos that they make, again, I haven't looked at a promo video before on them. I didn't look anything up on them. I've experienced their cabinets. I've seen their cabinets. I was like, wow. All of a sudden, I get hit with this Godfather promo. And I'm like, holy shit. I was hooked. And I was hooked badly. Meaning, like, I went, I saw this video. I was like, holy shit. Where do I go to buy one? <laughs> again, I had no intentions of buying a real cabinet. When I went to Pinball on, I was like, okay, all the most, majority of the tables that were there, I could play them on my, on my V-Pin. Obviously, I can't play the newer LCD Sterns, but the older school ones, I could play on my V-Pin. But when I saw the promo for this, I was like, oh shit. Um, I kind of wish he didn't send me that video. Because <laughs> now... It became a, I don't want to say the word addiction, but it came, it became me watching the promo video, like, no joke, like, I, I watched it like a hundred times. And I was just in shock and awe. And again, I, have, I haven't seen a Stern promo video, I wasn't looking at a real promo machine, I saw this, like, whoa. Then, like, the next couple of days later, you get, like, the, I forgot what JJP calls it, basically, like, they go into detail, Eric's talking about the game and what it does, and, and now I'm hooked. Now I'm like, oh, shit. I now want one. <laughs> and then sure enough, by, by the time all this happened, on their website, everything is sold out. Uh, I'm pretty sure I could have done an LE, but the, the collector's edition, when you saw the gunners on the promo video, that's what I wanted. I was like, whoa, if I'm gonna buy a real pinball machine, I want like the works. Not to mention the gold armor. I've said this in the past videos, it's not just a topper. The gold armor on it. I do love the, the side art on this with the Don instead of Michael. There's a lot going on. The gold flake play field, the gold wire form. There's a lot when it came to this. So I was already hooked. I was like, oh man, this is bad. And then again, they announced this game on uh, the, the Pinball Expo in Chicago. And right now, to date, Chicago Pinball Expo is going on now. And they announced Elton John. So it's kind of cool now that I kind of sit back and think about it. We're right now in October 
but I got my machine in August. I'm gonna tell you about when I purchased everything and all that, but as far as the time framing and when they started wheeling stuff out, I thought it was I thought it was kind of fast. Um, you know, now they gotta produce them and all that, but I don't wanna go on a tangent. But yes, ever since I saw the Godfather promo, I was like, oh man. And if you've watched my live streams, I've I've said it many times where I was like, wow, it is a beautiful looking game. But I saw the price tag on it, and I'm like, I don't know if I, I don't know if I want to spend that much on a game slash a toy. Now I could be wrong about when they announced Godfather. If it was at the Chicago Expo, because I'm looking at their YouTube channel, seven months ago was the promo video for the Godfather. So seven months ago, and then you know, figure about three or four months when they produced it, then they started rolling stuff out. Stuff kind of adds up. What was seven months ago? March. March was seven months ago, so they announced it in March. And then going now to my kind of videos that I'm anxious to show off real quick. The date on this is July 14. Um, so basically from March to July, uh, I'm basically just watching Pinside and just seeing people getting their machines and all that. Again, announcement trailer versus when they actually started rolling cabinets out. It takes some time. So basically again, saw the promo, I was hooked immediately. Then you get on pin side, you're in the, the thread and people are bad mouthing the game and they, people like the game and you can't please everybody. Some people don't like the theme. I cannot figure out why you cannot like this theme. I think it's crazy, but again, it's to each their own. That is great. And then watching pin side now, you see people getting the machines. They've been, they've sent out the LEs and now I'm like, okay, I'm waiting for Pinball Long Island to see if they're gonna get an LE. And at the time of the whole thing, they just got a Scooby-Doo. Um, I went to play that and I wasn't a fan of that. Uh, I didn't like Scooby-Doo. I don't like Scooby-Doo, but I didn't, I, I, didn't, I didn't like the game. Uh, it's not a theme for me. Um, but basically, once you know, I started seeing LEs coming out, I was like, oh man, now I have to wait to see who's gonna get one. Because in my mind, I'm like, it's a lot of money for a pinball machine. And again, like I said, I've mentioned this a lot of times on, on when I was live streaming my virtual pinball. I was like, it's a lot of money, but it looks great. It's an investment. And I'm the type of person where I was like, I, I have to play the game. Let me play the game, let me get my fix. And if I enjoy it, then I'll look, you know, maybe I, maybe I don't need to buy one. Maybe I could just play for an hour and then I could get my fix. And I'm like, okay, I could at least say I played it. Really, that's how I did with Pinball Long Island. I was looking at getting older original cabinets. I was looking at getting a real Simpsons pinball party. I was looking at getting a Cactus Canyon. Uh, for example, real quick with Cactus Canyon, that was the first game me and the wife played virtually and the wife actually liked it. She was like, wow, this is a really cool game. So now I'm like, okay, I like it. My wife likes it. It's a win-win. Let me try to find a Cactus Canyon. And they're like 10 grand or nine grand or eight grand. And I'm like, oh, you know, <laughs> I don't know if I want to spend that much on an old game. Uh, you know, then you see the prices of newer Sterns. I'm like, I could get a new game and that, we'll talk about that later on. But uh, yes, in my mind, I'm like, okay, pinball along on, I got my fix. I played the Sopranos. I now don't really want a Sopranos. I have it virtually, but I wouldn't want a real Sopranos. It's a great theme. I love the game, but I got my fix out of it, especially when I played virtual pinball. So I'm in the mindset now, of, let me play this game. I got to see who's going to be locally to me. Let me go play this game and try it out. And now utilizing pin map, I just put in the word Godfather. I actually put in collector's edition, nobody had one. I've then put the, in the search Godfather and then it said LE. And there was only one place that had it. And that is Silver Ball. Um, I don't want to say Silver Ball Museum, but it was Silver Ball located in Asbury Park. It was 80 miles, it's an 80 mile drive, two hours away from me. This now time of date and the videos I see it, it is July 14. Um, yes, July 14, uh, it was a great day. Uh, I noticed it, I found it, and then I, sure enough, I go on Silver Ball's Instagram and they've had the machine, I believe they got their machine, it was at the end of May. So they had it for about like a month and a half. So I got excited, I saw it on Instagram. They also have it on their website, like the list of games and it was there, but it was more calming to me when I saw it on Instagram, they actually had live video of it. And yes, it was an LE. So immediately I told the wife, I said, listen, I'm going. I'm going one day in Asbury Park, the, the Silver Ball, 
They had a lot of pinball machines and they had an arcade too. So it's an all-in-one kind of thing. It's right on the boardwalk. And looking at the price, 25 bucks, all you could play all day, no extra coins and all that. I told the wife immediately, I was like, babe, I'm gonna go when they open and you won't hear from me or see from me until they close. <laughs> I, no joke, I was there for about, I would say it was nine hours. I played pinball for nine hours. Uh, I did take a one hour lunch and I sat down, but I stood on my feet that whole entire time and I strictly went to play The Godfather. I didn't wanna play anything else but The Godfather. Cause again, in my mind, I'm like, let me play this game and maybe I get my fix and now I don't have the urge or the, the, the need uh, to buy this machine. I should say one, I don't need a machine. I wanted the machine. So I was like, let me, let me play this game and experience it and, and maybe, you know, 80 miles is a far drive. Um, I think that day in total, again, I have a pickup truck. I probably, and I, you know, I filled it up. Let's just say I filled up a, a tank of gas. I didn't need a full tank of gas, but I probably spent with food. I probably spent about 150 bucks that day, 60 bucks of gas, uh, you know, the 25 bucks and then the food there. Cause you're on the boardwalk. It was kind of, uh, it's boardwalk food. They have food there, but I went outside. I was like, I need some air. Uh, and then not to mention this is summertime. Uh, and I did go on a day, I forgot whatever day July 14 is, um, I didn't notice this, but there was actually a camp there when I walked in, so there was a shitload of kids, and I'm like, oh crap. <laughs> so now I have videos of this day, I haven't posted it on Instagram, I'll give you a quick kind of story. Uh, the actual plan for this day was that I was going to bring the wife, the kid, my sister-in-law, and my sister-in-law's boyfriend, which he's also a, into gaming and all that. Uh, and I did plan it. I was like, oh, you know, I told the wife, let's go. And the kiddo could come because right next door is like a water park for the kids and all that. Um, basically, though, my wife saw me so anxious for this day. She's like, Vic, you know what, man? Just go. You go alone. She's like, I don't want it where, like, you know, you're going to worry about us and if we're bored. And I sat back. I was like, you know what? She's right. And then I didn't want to entertain. Like, I'm the type of person when it comes, especially now when it comes to pinball, don't talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm just in the zone. I don't want to, you know, you know, it's something where like me being alone, I loved it. And it was a great idea. So kudos to the wife for giving me, you know, I don't want to say allowing me, but it's just kind of like, she just said, Vic, you go. This is something that you want to do. You go, don't worry about us. And basically I haven't posted these videos because my sister-in-law's boyfriend, I never told him that I went. I basically, it was raining that day. So I was like, you know what, bro, forget it. I'm not going, but then I secretly went. So I never posted the videos on it. So there's your, the secrets out. I don't know if he's gonna watch this, so yes. Uh, it was great, I'm very happy I went alone. I didn't have to worry about anybody. And yes, I played for eight hours. I, no joke, I'm looking at the video now. The video of me entering is at 12.15. The video of me leaving is at 8.49 at night. <laughs> so I shut that shit down. And no joke, 95% of the time, it, I was playing The Godfather. I really didn't play anything else because I knew I was only gonna play The Godfather hoping that I would get my fix and not needing or wanting to buy one. Now, I went there, I didn't know this, but apparently there was a camp there. I was gonna say a school trip. There was a camp there. Um, and that's okay, that's all right. You know, let kids be kids, but there was a shitload of kids. <laughs> I mean, you're talking like three bus loads. And uh, I'm gonna now go into this part. I'm gonna now show you I'm gonna right now just go, you know, video after video. I'm not really gonna talk much. I'll probably just record my reaction. Um, but I basically recorded once I walked in and I saw the machine. And as you could hear in the videos coming up, you could hear my excitement in it. Um, let's just do that now. I'm gonna go video by video. I'm gonna not really break it up. I'm not gonna. I'm just gonna go video by video, and then we'll talk in between. So the first video I got, it's basically definitely I played like one or two games and. Look at this in all of its glory. We got the Godfather 50th. Oh, I am finally here to play it. Drove two hours, 80 miles to get my seat at the table. Look at it. Oh, and luckily Jersey Jack with the headphone jacks. So there's a camp going on over here. I can at least hear the music. What a fucking beautiful table. <laughs> a couple of games in, loving it. We're going Corleone. 
Love it. Beautiful. This right here is the best right here. The gangster on this, unbelievable. I've been doing the fountain skill shot. Very like gentle. Look at that. Skill shot. Boom, baby. I have only played this machine and Toy Story 4. That is all I'm playing right now. I am loving this. This right here, the gangster. It's a beautiful just animatronic. Everything about it is beautiful. I got like number two high score. I'm trying to aim for this 248 though. Don't think this actually like holds high. Oh, look at that. <laughs> all right, so you got highest scores. Oh, that's not so bad. I'm there. I'm gonna make it, but I guess on a different day, there was a higher score. So far, enjoying the hell out of it. As you can see, I keep playing games. 81 million is my highest so far. <laughs> I'm gonna, we'll break it down later on. So, quick update. I've been here for a good maybe two hours. I've yet to leave this machine. I don't know how many games I've played so far, but playing this one train. Having fun. Luckily, they have the headphone jack in this. If I didn't have the headphone jack in this, I would have had a bad time. There's a lot going on on it. You got jobs, you have offers, you got a lot of multiballs. That's why I go to Corleone family on this. Corleone, I am the multiball king. Corleone family extends the time on multiball to shoot again. Sheesh. <laughs> I leave this machine. Somebody started four players on it. And now I have to wait to drain it. Okay. Four player game. Annoying. <laughs> Annoying. So now this four player game is at 317. So, so like I said before, I told you the time when I started, that video was shot at 317. Let's keep going. Right next door. Right next door. I got this Wayfair, Mayfair. Got this Philly cheesesteak with fries called the Asbury and a frozen pita colada. Take a quick minute break, I'm going back to pinball. So the food there was right next door. That was shot at 337. <laughs> Let's see now. I played this so long today, I broke it. We're frozen right now. I think it's looking for a ball. Nothing on the screen right now. I broke this. <laughs> I don't understand, I, I hit it in the spinner. Damn it, I wanted to take a picture with the machine too, and now it's dead. What the hell? Wow. I still have fun though. No joke, I've probably been here for about seven hours. <laughs> that video now. Oh. <laughs> oh man. That video was shot at 7.50 p.m. <laughs> 750 that tilt video. Here we go, we got more. Ladies and gentlemen, check it out. Playing and look, I played this so much. A screw came out. I don't know where it came from. It came from I think the fountain over here. Oh man, I am on like hours six or seven on this. <laughs> Jersey Jack. Asbury Park. I don't know where that screw comes from, but whoops. That shot right there. 808. <laughs> Keep going, I think I got a couple more. Alright guys, final verdict on it. I've been playing the hell out of this game. Beautiful, I love this. Love the, the gangster. The call outs in this are amazing. I even doubt you could hear me. This place is loud, but luckily it does have the audio headphone jack here. Thank gosh, Jersey Jack has that. It's awesome. It's a tough game though, very difficult. Especially getting like the scores. I'm only like, I think my highest is 48 million. That's like nothing compared to what like the highest, but somebody got 248 mil. It's a beautiful game. Definitely a beautiful game. It's just for the side art. Everything about this, I want it. I want it. I'll have to save up for it. I want it. This is just, it's a must. It's a must to have. I gotta have it. So that video right now. 8.23, uh, I don't even remember when I said I started. Uh, <laughs> should have done that before. This video from 12.11 to 8.23, you're talking eight hours. I played eight hours so far and I made the call. I need this machine. Uh, hold on. 
I watch this one. Next one. I love the gangster. It's gone lights off. The multi balls on this are crazy. Sicilian multi ball, compound multi ball, turf war multi ball. It's fun. Look at that. So this place too. Also, it's not a big deal, but maybe they should adjust their uh, rubber. I picked the Corleone family specifically because the moldy balls last longer. And as you can see, even with it lasting longer, I still suck. It's just a, it's just a beautiful table, man. I can't get off of it. I, I, I don't have my, my, I didn't bring my watch, but I've been standing here. Nobody's really jumping on this. You even have the Toy Story 4 here. Nobody is jumping on these Jersey Jacks. Again, though, this arcade, though, honestly, it's on the boardwalk. It's kind of just family fun. I don't really think any serious pinball players are coming here. They will. I don't think it's, I think it's a handful of them, but it's just amazing. The jackpots. Man. Ball loss. I'm not even playing. I'm not even playing. Look, we're getting multi-balls everything. Oh, uh, just the voice on this, the call-outs, it's, it's amazing. I love every second of it. I love this straight down. This hits you quick. Very difficult shot is the Don's office and the hideout. Very difficult. I, I, it should be an easy shot, but I cannot get it. I'm trying to figure out the multiplier so you can see. I hit the action button. Now we have a multiplier there for the weapon side of it. We have soldiers on the right. There's just so much going on. Again, I've been playing this for so long and I feel like I only scratched the surface at 48 million. Yeah, look, shoot again. I, uh, this is just going right now. Again, because of the Corleone family, multi balls are extended. The multi ball saves are extended. Same. I think I got two more videos. Uh, no joke. I'm telling you, I've been playing this. Look at this. Most wanted high score number seven. Look, look at all the different pictures I have. Number four, today's high score number one, 81 million. That's my highest. I'm not shitting you. I played the shit out of this table today. Insane. Look, look at all the pictures. <laughs> I do have my name though on a couple of cards, such as like multi ball and all that. So pretty cool. I'm not sure what they do. Looks like high scores get deleted. See, so I got a silly multi ball. Look, I got my picture everywhere. Let's see. Let's see. Sicily multi ball champ. Jack. So you can see like the high scores. We still have like the creators high scores there. I really have like the highest I guess. Again, I'm not sure if that's today. I, I put like I said, you can see it there. I played the shit out of this today. Love it. Love it. Love it. Alright, so now I got I think I have two more, but um yeah, let me first find this one. I took a video of me outside of the truck leaving, but I saved another two that I sent to Project Canada. Let's just see this one. This is eight seconds. Oh, this is the... <laughs> yeah, you got some kid over here. That started a floor player game. Walked away. Now I got a drain. That was the eight, that, <laughs> the, the kid that started eight seconds. I got this, with tapping. I legit walk away from the machine because I'm like, all right, maybe people think I'm just hogging it, but nobody's playing it. So I'm going back. I've been playing so far just Toy Story 4 and Godfather. Toy Story 4 is cool. Got a tapper going on up here. And then I got, I think, two more. So you might see me cut real quick because I basically sent Project Canada the, the screw on the play field. And the last one was me in the truck. What's going on, guys? Vic VP here. Game Gaze Arcades drove out 80 miles, two hours to Silver Bowl Retro Arcade out here in Asbury Park, Jersey, the shore, to play one machine. And that was. Oh, I got cut on that. I was supposed to say that was the Godfather. That was at 8.45 when I got in the truck. So 12 something to 8.45. And I I just wanted to show you the videos. You can kind of see my reaction because I'm just reliving it. Uh, I haven't seen these videos since I shot it in July. And today is October 21. And you can just kind of see the pure joy in my face the whole time. Now I purposely just want to show you the videos back to back because number one, I had to relive it. I didn't really remember what I shot. Uh, but also I wanted to show you my reaction because as you can see like as I'm looking at my phone It just brings back memories. I'm just happy as could be 
And again, to the haters, some people just hate seeing other people happy, but you can just see my face. I had it purposely side by side, not to mention I shot it on my phone, so it's all vertical oriented, but you could just hear the excitement in my voice. And again, you could kind of hear too the, what's the word, the ambiance of the room uh, where that machine was, they had a speaker there. And it's basically like music for the entire you know place. They were playing like you know some old school like Smash Mouth. That was like one thing that I and I kept saying in the video. I'm like, thank God that there's a headphone jack. And then for me, I just I luckily bought wired headphones. I did try to Bluetooth connect with like I think the i the AirPods and it wouldn't connect. So I'm like, thank God I bought wired headphones because if I didn't bring it, it would have been a nightmare. I, I probably would not have enjoyed it. Um, but the best thing, and it was actually funny, like I said in the beginning, there was a camp there. And it was kind of funny because I walk in and I'm like, where is, where is it? Like, where is the Godfather? Where is it? Uh, so I'm come, you know, you go inside and then you kind of see it. it you, just the, the back glass alone, it catches your eye. And again, they had the LE model. But I'll never forget when I turned the corner, I look at it and I found it. There was like three kids on it. And I'm like, these kids don't know the Godfather. Like, what's going on? Uh, I don't think they had adult mode set to it, but it was just kind of funny just to see kids there. So I'm actually there. Uh, there's a part where I show the tapper. Uh, I'm actually there like playing tapper waiting for these kids to get off. And the second the kids get off, I walked up to it. I played two games. You can see it. That was the first video. I played two games. You kind of saw, I think it was actually player one and two. I actually don't think I played the two games. I think that was from the kids playing it. Um, <laughs> But I was just in awe because I was in front of it and I was like, here we go. This is the, the moment I've been waiting for. I could finally play it. I was just in shock and awe. Again, the LE artwork on it is gorgeous. I do like it, but it's it, the CE is where it's at. But again, uh, I remember I plugged in my headphones. I pressed start and you just hear the call out where he goes, choose your family. I was just in, I was in heaven. As you could hear in my voice, I was just in heaven. Now, again, I'm not playing. I... I was there for eight hours. And yes, me, uh, you know, from my previous work, I was always on my feet. So that to me is nothing like the people are like, Vic, you didn't like sit down. I sat down to eat, as you can see in my little kind of lunch thing, but I played it. Now, just to clarify, cause some people might be like, Vic, man, you hogged the shit out of the machine. No, um, it's actually funny to have a sticker here that says like, you know, do one game to allow others to play. Again, I went there in the beginning, there was only kids there. So that was great. I was like, okay, awesome. But I did the right thing. I was I was etiquette. I had my etiquette. I played a game. Uh, in the beginning, honestly, I played like two games, and then I would disconnect my headphones and I would step to the side because right next to Godfather was an EM. I don't know, it was like blackjack or something like that. And then they had Toy Story, and uh, I stepped to the side and I would just kind of just put my hands on the EM, not really playing it, but I would just hold my hands on it. I would wait 30 seconds, and if I saw nobody go to it, it's fucking free game. I went back. <laughs> So no joke for, I would say about, when I entered till about like 2.30, 3, it was like that. I would play two games, I would hop off, it kind of sucked because I would lose my mojo a little bit. You had like an occasional one or, per, one or two kids that went and like started. So that's when I kind of dabbed into Toy Story. So yes, I had proper etiquette, don't flame me. But it was just, it was just, it was just a sight, I, I was just mind blown. And I loved every second of it. Now, as far as the actual game itself, it was fast. It was a fast game. I don't know now, now that I have mine, and I do plan, I do have a delivery coming up, going back to Asbury Park, and I may go and visit the, the arcade again. I'm gonna see where they had their bubble at, because I do feel, on a couple of shots, compared to my machine, their shot would just drain. So the big thing on this game here is the, is the, the center wire form, that straight wire form. That wire form comes down and hits a target and then it comes right back down to the flipper. In Asbury Park, it is very fast. Almost as if the rear of the machine, the pitch, is super high. And, you know, looking now on pin side, people go like, oh, you know, these, these barcades, they probably, they have to pitch higher than normal because they want you to drain and they want you to cycle through the games and people could, whatever. I think that's what happened because honestly, that target, that, it came down very fast. Now... As you could see, I played the shit out of it. A screw did fly out of the fountain. And I did let Asbury Park know 
uh, the, the, um, the, there were teenagers working there, so I was like, hey man, just let me know, uh, Godfather has a, there's a screw on the actual play field. Um, and then I went back, and I guess somebody played it, and then the screw kind of disappeared, so I was like, oh, there goes that screw. Um, but the one thing that you notice at the end, I do mention the thing about their left slingshot rubber. Um, I did notice that. At first I thought it was a re I thought it was like a feature of the game for it meant to be there. But then as I looked at the rubber, it's actually bulging out. So their left slingshot rubber, it was actually coming out into the lane and it would actually slow down the ball. And you could see, and I'll, I'll post it as I go, you could see in the multi-ball, there's actually a ball stuck now in the slingshot. So that kind of helps, if you would say, it would help me in the, in the, in the multi-ball part. But man, you just re-watching the videos, you could just hear the excitement in my voice. And again, the best part is luckily I had my headphones. I just was so dialed in and I'll never forget I was playing. And as you can see to the right, there was two air hockey tables. That's another thing. You got your music here and then you just hear the air hockey like ding, 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 ding. And I'm like, oh, luckily I had my headphones. <laughs> uh, it would have been a bad time. Luckily I had my headphones there, but Yes, I'm just grateful that the headphone jack is there and then I can control the volume from the front. Even without the headphones in and having the volume set high, you have a setting where you could adjust and set the max like level. Um, if I did not have headphones, I, I would not have heard anything. I would, it would have been like when I was playing at um, uh, Pinball Long Island, it would have just been like noise. And, or I should say round one. It would have just been noise and I would not have gotten the full like game feel. I mean, again, just looking back, I'm making a point about the gunner. The gunner, I love the bad guy that's in this. Uh, the LE though has the bad guy with the cigar. Mine has the bad guy with the hat, but I do have the guy with the cigar in the coin box. So I do get bust of both worlds. I do love, I, again, I don't know if it's Floyd or Mike. That's, I don't know that, but it's kind of cool. You can kind of see right next to it was Toy Story 4. And I'll dive into the whole thing about Toy Story 4. So again, Project Canada, I sent him the video and he's like, whoa, they have a Toy Story 4. Let me know how it is. I want to hear your opinion on Toy Story 4. I wasn't looking at Toy Story 4. I, I didn't even look at the game beforehand. Also to note and to mention, before I played this, I specifically made it my like um, mission not to watch people play this game. You know, there are live streams, there's a guy named Carl, he like is a beast at this game, but he kind of plays it as a way of, um, I don't want to say the word flaws, but he has a strategy to it just to get a high score. I don't like playing like that. So I didn't watch, I didn't watch any gameplay videos. So I wanted to come in and try to learn the game as I could there. The, the skill shots, I had no idea what was going on. And again, at this point, I didn't, I don't know lingo. You know, you, I would hear, you know, the game always starts with shoot the targets. And I thought the target was the bad guy this whole time. And now that I own one, I now realize that the target is actually like the, 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 the leaf switch kind of drop target. So like, oh, that's new to me. Then you hear like, um, shoot the loop ramp. I didn't know what that was. But again, it's just me enjoying pinball. That was the best thing. And it's again, I'm just at shock and awe with this table here. Again, I'm just watching and going back on some stuff. Lunch was pretty cool, but that like lunch you can see that with that pina colada that I got, I think it was like a $25 lunch. <laughs> There's your boardwalk lunch. And luckily the Godfather had a cup holder and I was able to keep my cup there. So it was pretty cool. Now I'm looking here, the issue what would happen with this tilt where the game just kind of malfunctioned. I no joke in this video, I took this, I'm looking at it now. This video I took at 7.50. So I'm already eight hours in, you know, seven hours and, 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 and change. And I thought my day was over. Cause as I'm recording, the table's not doing anything. It's just doing a ball search. It's not doing anything. I then actually went to go play a little bit of Toy Story and then I saw the game came back to life. And I'm like, yes, going back. <laughs> but again, now after like three o'clock, and as I was playing, you kind of felt people around you watching you. So I made sure that I would disconnect my headphones and I would step over and then of course some other people played it. But going back real quick with the camp, there was a couple of kids, even at night, there was a couple of like, teenagers there that saw me with my headphones in and they saw that it was attached to the cabinet. And they're like, look at this nerd. <laughs> they're like, this guy is serious about his pinball because he's hooked up to the machine. 
Thank God I had my wired headphones there. Thank God. Now, just real quick to tell you about Toy Story 4 because I had no intentions of getting Toy Story 4. I didn't watch any videos on Toy Story 4, but I gotta say, when I was playing The Godfather, and again, keep in mind, there was a camp there in the beginning. The amount of kids that went to play Toy Story blew my mind. It was like, what's the word? Like light to like flies, like mosquitoes. They're like, I must go and play this. It started with the camp, and then as I'm playing The Godfather, I'm looking at the clock, I'm like, okay, it's like two o'clock now, the camp left. Now you get some adults coming in, now you got like your regular crew. Come like six o'clock, there's grown-ups and kids just gravitating toy, towards Toy Story. And I've never seen that. It's been a long time since I've just seen kids just, like they don't care about anything else, but they saw Toy Story. And in the heat of the moment, I was telling Project Canada, I was like, dude, there's a lot of people walking up to Toy Story. It's kind of like, an, it, that's the word. It's an approachable game. And I'm like, I looked at it, it looked great. I was like, wow, this is a great looking, I love the armor, the blue. When I saw the blue armor on Toy Story, I was like, wow, this is a gorgeous looking game. Not to mention you got Woody, you got Buzz. And just seeing so many people just gravitate towards it, I was like, shit. This might be a good game for the kiddo and the wife to enjoy, and me, let's be real. Um, but just seeing people just grab it, I'm not, like, I'm not, I'm trying not to exaggerate it, but kids just walking up to it, and adults walking up to it. It was great with Asbury Park, they actually had stools for kids. You got kids that were running and grabbing a stool and, like, running up the Toy Story and drop and starting a game, I'm like, wow. That was probably the, like, where, where I was, I feel like it was the biggest crowd. On the opposite side of the table that you see, and I'll probably get like so I'll show you. On the opposite side, you had your old, not like you had your regular standard DMD uh, tables. They did have, for example, a, um, a medieval madness. They had like a, a Terminator. They had probably like bangers, like Tales of the Crypt. And for some reason, nobody was there. Like nobody was was playing those games. It was more towards the center. Not to mention where Godfather was, right behind Godfather was a Hercules, that like monster one. I think the cue ball is like a, is your ball. There was a lot of people gravitating towards that, but again, you had, you know, you had your air hockey. They also had like the basketball game. So again, now as far as like ambiance and, the, and lucky with the, the headphones, you know, you hear like the basketballs behind you. You hear just music. That was the worst. The music, the speaker was no joke, right, right next to the machine. I'm like, thank God I bought my headphones. But I was not looking at Toy Story and I left. The next day I'm like, let me watch some promo videos for Toy Story and I didn't get that detailed into Toy Story. Again, I went specifically to play The Godfather. I wasn't gonna play anything else, I went to go play The Godfather. And when it when other people were playing The Godfather, I would then kind of walk around. You saw that I was playing some Tapper, I played, I only played, that was the only arcade game I played. They did have like an Attack from Mars, they did have an NBA Fast Break in that heat of the moment, that's when I did the live stream for NBA Fast Break. Pretty cool to see the back glass with the ball. But again, I started NBA Fast Break and I couldn't hear the game. And that's where, I, I mean, I hate to say it and I hate to keep bringing it up, but that's where like I just didn't have any desire to play other, ta other games. I played Medieval Madness. I did like one quick game and same thing, I just, I couldn't hear the game. I haven't played Medieval Madness on my virtual pin so I didn't know the objective, but it's just, this is me, in my opinion, if I can't hear the game, I'm just flipping and it was not, it wasn't fun. So now basically the end to the Asbury Park um, Silver Ball, I had a load of fun. I was like, in, I loved it. And again, I did only play The Godfather. You could hear me in the other video. I basically made the choice and I was like, I fell in love with this machine, I have to have it. Uh, so me going to play it, it was probably a bad idea because I just knew now I needed to have it. Uh, I was hooked. Just also seeing like the high scores, somebody had like 200 mil. Uh, I don't know what they did, maybe they did an update and then it kind of deleted the scores. But just to see my name, not only now that I have the machine now, I had my picture taken a lot because it was today's high score, but I did have one main high score that was there for that like specific table you could see my name there in red with the corleone um and then also seeing like that i got like a sicily multi-ball champion um it was just awesome i was just i was just 
I was happy and I was like, you know what? I have to pull the trigger. I now have to find a table. I did play the LE and it was great. But now going back to the promo video, you see like the gold flake. Uh, again, Michael Corleone is in the middle where your flippers are versus the Don. Then the side art, the armor is all black. Again, I was like, I'm now gonna find a collector's edition. I love the LE. I would have bought an LE if I couldn't find a collector's edition at a reasonable price. I wouldn't. I would have settled for an LE. But I did find a collector's edition. So now we'll dabble into the offers that I got for these machines that I just could not refuse. Let's begin. First off, if you're still tuning in and watching, I appreciate it. I guess you're enjoying the story. I know I repeat myself a lot, but that's just how I am. But again, shout out to you if you're still watching. Now, let's discuss the offers. It's more about the offers that I saw. <laughs> and then I couldn't, I couldn't refuse the offer, meaning I couldn't pass it up. Again, I was not looking at a Toy Story. It was kind of a point. It was probably like a good like week where, you know, you're kind of looking at prices of these machines. And you're like, man, you know, do I really want to spend this much on a game? Um, honestly, right now, I have zero regrets. Exactly what I thought was going to happen, it is happening now. So, I'll get, I'm going to go through the whole thing. But basically, I left that. And keep in mind, that Asbury Park trip was July 14th. I got my Godfather August 31st, okay? So basically I went home and not too much, I got home late. <laughs> uh, again, it's a two hour drive. So by the time I got home, let's just call it maybe 11 o'clock at night, uh, my wife and kiddo were sleeping. I showered, I went to bed. And as I'm like in bed, I'm like, I, I, I probably made a big mistake going to Asbury Park because now I'm hooked and I want to play more pinball. I spent no joke like the, the week I'm looking at stuff, but what I, what I want to say is that the callouts in this game are just amazing. I love the, I just love the whole gangster vibe. I love it. If they would have made, like, you could take this game and make it like a Scarface theme, it would still be amazing. I, I just love the whole vibe of it. But the callouts, I'm, I, I, no joke, I'm just walking around making callouts. Like, you know, the multi ball, when he goes like multi ball, it's just, it's insane. I, I was hooked. I love the callouts on this game and I'll probably still, I still to date, even my brother now, I'll talk about him later on, he's even saying callouts and stuff. It's, it's, it's a thing of beauty. But basically, I got home, I even was streaming some virtual pinball and I even made, I said it in the videos and in the streams. I'm like, I went and I played it and now I'm really kind of contemplating on buying one, but then, you know, it is a lot of money to shell out and stuff. But anyway, I went, just to give you a, a shortcut, I did go to Pinside to find these two tables here. So now, again, July 14, I went home, figure, I don't know, July, July, let's say, let's just call it the 20th, you know, a week goes by. Um, I then started looking at Pinside, and there are, at this time, there are people receiving their CEs. Um, there are people getting them, they're keeping them in the box, but they're selling it for like 16,000. If you don't know, a collector's edition sells for 15K. Um, yes, $15,000. There are some people that are taking advantage, meaning I bought this new machine to resell it. I don't even want to open it. I paid 15K, I'm going to sell it for 16K. That's what you see a lot of. There's one that I always make fun of, and I, I not to make fun of in a bad way, but there's one that a dude bought it. He made a hole in his ceiling, and he's selling his collector's edition for 14.5 um it's just I, whatever 500 anyway there was one ad on pin side that caught my attention when i read it this person was selling their deposit to jersey jack pinball the deposit originally was 2500 dollars. he was selling his spot for two grand so i messaged him I said, and, and not to mention this ad, I think it tells you how long it's been up. It's been up for a while. And I'm surprised nobody jumped on it. And in my mind, I'm like, this might be kind of fishy. Like, why did nobody jump on this? But then again, this table gets a lot of slack, meaning nobody likes a the theme, but I loved it. So I messaged the guy, I said, hey man, is this still available? You know, it's kind of your cliche Facebook thing, right? Um, he goes, yes, I, I have a deposit down on Jersey Jack. 
and uh, I'm just not interested in it. I think he was getting also a Venom. Uh, he had a deposit. He doesn't have room for it. It's kind of like you're getting like the messages and it's kind of like, this is weird. You know, you've got a deposit, but you're waiting. You, you don't have room for more machines, but you put deposits down for other. I, I already had like red flags up. So I said, hey man, listen, I'm, I'm interested. Again, the guy's big thing in the description he wrote there, I made a deposit, I'm taking $500 off. Basically, your shipping is free. I didn't understand what that meant at first, but now I, I understood it. So I said to him, I said, listen, I'm interested, but you gotta send me receipts. I need, I need, you know, we gotta, we gotta figure this out. We gotta get in contact with Jersey Jack. You know, I'm not the type where I didn't say to him, hey, send me your full name and I gotta call Jersey Jack. You know, that's kind of weird. Who's gonna do that? But uh, he messaged me and he goes, hey Vic, I'll send you the emails. I'll send, I'll send you the email chain. And uh, I forgot, I think it was Jennifer. I think that's her name at Jersey Jack. Uh, he did send me the email chain and sure enough, there was like an order number. Got that number and I called up Jersey Jack. I said, hey, I'm talking to some guy in Jersey Jack, like the, the guys that are there and girls, the, the guy that I've spoken to, he was like, he was pretty cool. He was pretty calm with it. I was like, you know, I know this is weird, but I'm trying to take this guy's deposit because, you know, he can't really, you can't really talk about somebody else's deposit. Like, you know, who are you? Who are you, Vic? So I just said, hey, listen, I have a order number. I want to make sure it's like valid. So basically what I'm getting at right now is, yes, I did get it on pin side. Yes, it's kind of like you're sketchy. Like, this is kind of weird, but do your due diligence is what I'm getting at. As long as you do your research and you do your stuff, Things come out in a positive way. Not to mention on pin side, you could see people's ratings. This guy had a great rating. He's done, and I look at the, the description, I, you can see like their reviews. He's been doing this stuff for like three or four years now. So you see people, and you can see the dates. Anyway, I just said to Jersey Jack, I said, hey man, I have this order number, can you confirm this order? So he goes, yes, this is a real number. Uh, and if you have an email from Jennifer, this is all real. I messaged the guy, I said, listen, let's take the next step. Cause I'm not gonna send you my money and then all of a sudden now I'm out. So we actually set up a three way phone call. It was me, him, and uh, I believe it was Jennifer on the phone. And uh, he even did email chains with me and Jennifer and he wrote there, I'm giving my deposit spot to Victor. And sure enough, it all worked out. What was really, 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 really crazy and in the heat of the moment, the guy told me, he's like, Vic, good thing you're messaging me now because Jersey Jack messaged me and they actually said that the machine is like ready to be sent out. And I was like, oh shit. I wasn't, <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Uh, I thought I was just taking your deposit. He goes, no, they actually messaged me. They're ready to ship this machine out. Like they need the full payment. So sure enough, I contacted, you know, we did the three way and everything got switched to me. Awesome, great stuff. Uh, and also in the heat of the moment, I discovered some things as far as sales tax. Um, Basically, all in all, everything was great. Jennifer then took my payment. I did it via credit card. And uh, next, you know, it took about a week for her to like send me like details of shipping. And then a week, once once I got the details of shipping, it took a week to get the cabinet. So August 31st came, boom, I have a brand new inbox godfather in my hands. But going back real quick, talking about sales tax, right? And this is, this is I mean, it's, it's, I didn't know this was a thing. But where, where he was from, and I forgot where he was, he didn't pay sales tax. He doesn't, Jersey Jack doesn't charge sales tax. And I was like, I never heard of such a thing. I thought I was gonna pay tax. Um, I then spoke to Jennifer and she goes, you're in New York, you don't pay sales tax either. And I'm like, this is a win-win. <laughs> I'm like, awesome, great. So basically, again, he had a deposit of 2,500. Um, I gave him two grand. And then I paid the balance to Jersey Jack of 2,500. So I paid 13.5 to Jersey Jack. That's how much they charged my, my credit card for. And I'm like, this is awesome. And he was right. Shipping, so the cabinet was 15 grand and then it was $500 to ship it. That's where like what I saved, it went to shipping and boom. I was like, this is awesome. This is, it was exactly what he said. He's like, yeah, shipping is like, it was awesome, great. One little thing I forgot to mention is kind of not, uh, what's the wording? Um, not the, not a regret. Um, the one thing I forgot to mention is that before I got this guy on pin side, I did reach out to a couple of vendors or sellers and all that. Uh, one of them is of which great dude, love him. It is Todd Tucky over at TNT Amusements. Uh, I messaged Todd. 
And uh, at the time he posted a video and he's like, oh, we're waiting for collector's editions to come in. So I sent him an email and I said, hey Todd, I don't know if you have an extra collector's edition available. Um, you know, I'm, I'm interested. Todd's deal is good, but it kind of, um, I don't like to say the word, I'm happy I didn't go with it, but basically, Todd is, hey, it's 15K plus tax and freight. That's what it was said, like, tax and freight. Plus tax, plus freight. So if I went with Todd Tucky, I would have had to pay sales tax. And you know, out here in New York, it's 8.875. So if you do 15 grand times 0.08875, I would have had to pay $1,300 in sales tax. So now my 15K machine plus freight I'm now at like 17K, so I'm very lucky that I bought this directly from Jersey Jack, so I saved money on that. In the heat of the moment also, I was also looking at a Toy Story 4. <laughs> so I did mention to Todd Tucky, I said, hey, if the deal is right and the deal is good, you make me an offer, um, I'm also looking at a Toy Story 4. Toy Story 4, his deal was kind of, it's a, don't get me wrong, it's a good deal. Uh, but he basically said that he would, it, it, I was looking at an Ellie. I didn't want to see Toy Story 4. When I saw the blue armor at the arcade, I was like, whoa, that, it looked gorgeous. I saw the, the red, I didn't like the red. And then I saw the topper, I'm not a fan of the topper. I was like, I'm, I could settle with the Ellie. The Ellie is a $12,000 machine. So Ellie's at 12,000, CE's are 15,000. Um, he made me an offer. He goes, I'll sell you a brand new inbox for 11.5 plus tax and freight, <laughs> but his LE, he said that the, the top of it is opened. And I didn't understand that. Uh, he basically said like the top is opened. Um, when I got these new and I did get these new in box. So again, shout out to Tataki, he's a great dude. Um, but I didn't get it from him. Um, again, tax and freight was a thing. Um, it kind of took me a step back because I was like, I don't, it sounds like it's an open box and I, that was the one thing that he mentioned to me. So anyway though, now going into Toy Story, in that heat of the moment, this is where I kind of, not regret, um, but it's kind of like I went and reached out to two other, you know, two other companies and now I'm getting emails like, hey Vic, you know, <laughs> hey Vic, did you like pick? Are you going to, you know, proceed? And then I said like, no, I, I now like I went and I went my own route. Um, Toy Story, very unique situation. I'm very happy and I'm very pleased with how Toy Story came out. Toy Story 4, there's somebody local to me in Long Island. He's about 15 miles out. He's selling an LE. He didn't write how many plays it had, but uh, he was selling it for 10.5. And again, and that being a moment, Tataki, I got, I got the offer at 11.5, brand new in box. I'm like, $1,000 isn't, that doesn't make me jump. It doesn't make me like, you know, I'm not gonna buy it used, I, I'd rather spend the extra thousand, right? And I sent this guy an offer, I said, listen, I'll come right now, pick it up, no, I, you know, you don't have to tell me how many plays, I don't care, I will give you 8,500 for it. You know, I don't wanna lowball it, but I, th I thought that was a fair offer. And he was like, no way, absolutely no. Not to mention, again, I, I, I sent that offer, uh, we'll call it like middle, beginning of August, and now, at October, he's still, trying to sell his Toy Story. Um, he did lower the price at 10K, but anyway, I did find a deal on Pinside for a Toy Story 4. This one now, brand new in box, 9,800. So I'm like, oh shit, 9,800 brand new in box? That's like a no brainer. <laughs> this guy wants 10.5 for it used. No brainer at all. So I messaged the guy, same scenario. Kind of sketchy, uh, not the guy's not sketchy. It's just hey, I see your your offer and I see that and his like picture was just like a stock Toy Story four picture, and uh, we're going back and forth. It turns out this guy and this is where it kind of what made me raise my eyebrow. This dude had like six Toy Stories new in box like in storage, and I was like that's kind of a red flag. Why do you have six of them? <laughs> but I did my basic thing. I said send me a picture of this brand new in box, and sure enough, he takes a picture. He's got like five of them. And I'm like, all right, this is kind of still a red flag because like, why do you have five in your house? It was in his garage. I was like, I need you to send me a picture, like, you know, put a piece of paper with Vic DP, like, you know, put my name on it. And he did it. He was doing everything. And again, it was 9,800. I'm like, wow. Uh, you know, originally, and not to mention he had two houses. 
he had three at one location, three at another. He's like, Vic, I'll send you like the the um the 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 serial numbers, whatever model you want. You know, you could pick your here's the list, pick yours. And sure enough, I went with 1300. He also had 1301, and I was like, no, give me 1300. And we did everything easy peasy. I sent him the money, which again is like, what? I sent him the money, and next thing you know, I get the ABF freight uh, quote. He sends me everything. The freight company calls me. He goes, hey, Vic, we're trying to deliver this cabinet. You know, when do you want it to deliver? It was just crazy. Toy Story 4, brand new in box, LE, 9800. Those are the two offers there that you got. It was a no-brainer. I was like, a brand new in box? Hell yeah, let's do it. And sure enough, it pulled up, and uh, I've been happy since. <laughs> So now real quick, with that $900 deal, yes, I had to pay for shipping. Uh, but the price he gave me was kind of amazing. I couldn't turn that down, so I'm not going to just say it was $9,800. Um, basically, though, it was kind of my fault. Like I said earlier, he has two houses with a bunch of cabinets in them. Uh, he went to this one house that was actually closer to New York. Um, and I, I, I was a little busy that day when he messaged me, and I didn't message back. And he had to go back to his other house, which is a little bit farther from New York. Anyway... Uh, again, it sounds sketchy, like, what? Uh, but basically, uh, we made an agreement. I think he found a shipper for, like, 300 bucks, and he was like, I'll split it 50-50, and I was like, okay, I'm not gonna complain. So, yes, I paid 99.50 for a Toy Story 4. Brand new inbox landed to my house. <laughs> again, no complaints at all, and, uh, I am honestly very happy with my decisions. Again, kind of talking now, uh, you know, I reached out to, to family, uh, not financially, you know, just kind of hearing their opinion. I, I spoke to my dad. My dad's like, Vic, you build pinball machines. Like, why are you going to spend money on it? You could, you could build it. And I was like, no, dad, like, this is like, and I kind of regret bringing it up to people. I only spoke to my dad and my brother about it. Uh, and I'm kind of, I kind of regret talking to my dad about it because he's like, you know, that's a lot of money. You know, uh, you know, you're going to pay a lot of money for it. And basically, I just got, I got punched in the gut. And I was like, you know what, I'm going to. I'm going to ditch the whole thing. Then I spoke to my brother, and my brother now gave me the mentality of, listen, Vic, you live once, man. If it won't make you happy, dude, just do it. And I was like, you know what? You're right. And sure enough, I pulled the trigger, and I have been loving the shit out of these machines. Now, when I was going for Toy Story 4, part of me was like, I don't think I should get a Toy Story 4, but I bought that machine to get the wife and the kiddo and family involved in pinball. Again, when I have like party events here with my arcade and stuff, you know, people come, they play. A lot of the younger generation, they'll hang out, they'll play. Like they love playing it. When it comes to like pinball though, I've seen like my family, again, I usually have like Cactus Canyon up or the Simpsons Pinball Party. I love Cactus Canyon, visually it's great. Or even like Ghostbusters. They'll play, they'll flip, they'll be amazed at it, but then they walk away from it. And I bought Toy Story 4 because when I was at Asbury Park and I just saw everybody gravitating towards it, I was like, this is gonna be great. Like, you know, the kiddo's gonna love it. Who doesn't like Toy Story? Like, you know, people don't like the theme of Toy Story 4, but I I just love Toy Story. I don't I don't see Toy Story 4. I see Toy Story with a carnival, but people oh, Toy Story 4. I I love it's great. And what's great is that the vision I had where now the wife and the kiddo are gonna play and they're gonna hang out more in my basement. Uh, wife hangs out here and the kiddo watches me, but it's like, you know, I'm waiting for her to get older so we can actually play like some arcade games and I plan to stream with her and we'll play full like Metal Slug. That's why I'm not streaming too many arcade games because I want to play with her. Anyway, it turned out exactly how I planned. Toy Story came in. I made a video of it on Instagram. I'll probably post it up. The kiddo was like at the stairs. It's right behind you. And she was like, whoa! Like she was just mind blowing. I was like, that's what I wanted. <laughs> Who is it? Who is that? Who is it? Who is it? Who is that? Oh, it's Toy Story. It's Toy Story. Yeah, who's this? Who is that? Look. Who is that? Is that Woody? Look. What about over here? Look. Yeah, you like it? That's for you. Go, Mama, flip. Yeah! <laughs> go, Mama, keep going! You playing your pinball machine? Go, go! Oh, good kick! Wow! Go, Mama, go! 
Oh, it's okay. Good job. Yay. That was good. Again? Go again. Here we go. Go, Mama, go. Good job. Look, look at the ball. Oh, she got it. Yeah. Woo. Yeah. Amazing. Look at this. Grand champion with the photo booth. Look at that. Three separate pictures. Look at that. Wow. Do you like it, Ava? Yeah. You like your pinball machine? Say wahoo. wahoo. Yeah. Woo. That was what I wanted. Then the wife saw it. She's like, whoa, like what? She already saw Godfather and she was like, this is a big machine. And I'm like, I have room for it. Don't worry. And I'm always down here. <laughs> But once you saw Toy Story and the kiddo was gravitating, it was exactly that. The kiddo like ran to it. It was like, I want to play this machine. It was exactly what I envisioned and more. I was just excited that the kiddo was playing. But then I, I, made, it, I, I made this video about Toy Story 4 with a wife and she still does it to date. I've had these machines now for what? Like two months now? August, September, October. Almost hitting. Yeah, it's going to be two months. No, it's going to be two months. Uh, August 31st and now I'm on October 21st. Had these machines for two months and my wife is the she's the best because she goes like you gonna play some pinball and i'm like i'm down <laughs> and she's like okay because i gotta i gotta beat my my high score <laughs> so she right now she's at like a million and uh she loves toy story she's not a fan of the godfather she's like there's too much going on and i'm like this is exactly what i envisioned toy story 4 is very approachable beginner i understand it's a beginner game I bought Godfather because I love the theme, but also there's so much going on. And again, I've had it for two months and I'm not even close. I'm not even close to like getting like five family multiball. I have yet to do that. If you look at like the high I'm scores, the Fifth Amendment, it is my right to do so. My high scores on this right now is 142 mil. At Asbury Park, it was like 80 something, but here it's 142 and I've had it for two months and <laughs> I love it. It's a great challenge. I love it. But again, going back to Toy Story 4, just seeing the wife enjoy it, and she now is like, we gotta, I gotta beat my high score. I, I love it. I, I, it's exactly what I envisioned, and I am totally, totally happy. Now, as far as like the financial wise of it, like I said, I'm not gonna give you financials. You know, if you work hard, play hard, do your thing, enjoy it. I'm gonna tell you what my brother said. You only live once. And uh, go for it. If it's something that you want, you should go for it. Now, yes, I did pay with these with credit card. You do have the option to do like e-check and all that or whatever. Like I could, I could have done like uh, PayPal. Um, you know, like the the I pay with these with credit card. And I, at first, I wasn't gonna do that. But then, I, me personally, I'm not big on credit cards. I'm just not a credit card guy. But I'm big on you know, the the, the green. And uh, you know, a purchase like this. If you look at what credit card you have, they give you benefits such as they give you cash back. And uh, let's just say, I'll let you do the math audit, but um, I got already, because it wasn't like, you know, it's, it's kind of a random thing, but with the amount, uh, the credit card company gave me 4% cash back. That's a fucking no-brainer. <laughs> it's a no-brainer. It's so funny because uh, if you go on pin side, there's some of it that... Somebody started a thread, it's like, oh, financial advice on how to buy a pinball machine. Yes, I agree, you shouldn't go into debt for a game, but I work hard, I, I could afford it. That's what all I have to worry about. And yes, I did pay with a credit card, and what's also great with the credit card is that the ones that I have, I got 18, uh, 18 months, no interest. It's a no-brainer, my dudes, do it. So I got my money back, and I got... 18 months no interest in all honesty with these machines i could pay it off right now but if you watch my streams i've said in the past i'm like that's a lot of money to put down right now i basically have 18 months to pay this off i could right now pay it off if i want to i don't want you to think that like oh you did go into debt with this no i could pay this off right now but why <laughs> why <laughs> uh, honestly though uh, i'm pro i'm gonna aim to pay it off fully in december so for like another two months and again, the biggest thing was that I took advantage of the cash back. That was like a great, I, at first I was like, oh, I was gonna do a whole like e-transfer and all that and bank wire. And I'm like, wait a minute, I'm gonna get 4% back. <laughs> and that was it. There you go. That's your financial advice. Do your research, my dudes. 
I found, uh, I used Chase and Discover. I used two credit cards, Chase and Discover. Because again, you do need, you're looking at right now, again, it was 15 and then 10, just to make your life easy, 15 and 10. You're talking about 25K, you do need a big credit line if you're gonna do one card, I have two separate ones and it worked. Works out. <laughs> and I've been loving it since. No regrets. The only one downside now is kind of like, you know, I am looking at pinball videos now. So it's kind of like, hey, you know, what do they say? Uh, you can't just buy one. I bought two. You can't just buy two. You might need three. But in all honesty, I have room for a third. But I'm totally happy sufficed with this. Um, people might, people have already called me a Jersey Jack fanboy um, because I have two of them. I would get a Stern, don't get me wrong, I would get a Stern, but I need a, I need a theme that's gonna make me happy. Um, luckily, Pinball Long Island has a Jurassic Park and they do have a Godzilla. I'm not a fan of Godzilla, but Godzilla is, you know, a big game, it's a big seller. Uh, but yes, I right now hope the camera's still filming. <laughs> You'd be surprised, I overheat my camera sometimes because I do talk a lot. Again, if you're still tuning in, awesome. Uh, I'm glad you're here. But yes, Pinball Long Island has the newer Sterns and I'm able to enjoy it. Going back to Asbury Park, they actually didn't have any newer Sterns. Like the else, they didn't have any whatsoever. I was kind of surprised to see that. But they're kind of big, again, I think it's like, I understood that they were like a museum. But um, they had mostly the, you know, regular, original dot matrix kind of displays. But they had no newer Sterns, but they did have the Jersey Jacks. Um, again, if Stern made a, a, a cabinet that I would be interested in, of course I would jump on it. I don't want to be known as a Jersey Jack fanboy. Right now, Jersey Jack and I'm seeing Elton John, it's not for me. But seeing the Expo and seeing Pinside, people like it. Not everybody. Just the same, it's the same treatment with The Godfather. People like it, not everybody, and I love The Godfather. But uh, I don't know, I can't see myself owning a music pen. I don't know why. Uh, but then watch, I'm gonna get a music pen. <laughs> uh, I would look at a Guns N' Roses, but again, it's Jersey Jack. I don't want to be known as a Jersey Jack fanboy, but uh, again, Pinball Long Island has a Guns N' Roses. Um, Foo Fighters, I like Foo Fighters, but I don't know if I would have a pinball machine of them, but again. Uh, I, I, if Stern came out with a, with a game, great. Now it's like, you know, I, I look on Facebook now. Um, I'm really no longer looking at the original, like, DMD cabs. They're expensive. Some people want, like, beat up cabs for a lot of money. And again, depending on what game it is. Um, what did I see? Somebody had a World Cup Soccer. Love, I love that on Virtual Pinball. World Cup Soccer is awesome. I love it. Uh, but I don't, I don't think it's eight thousand dollars. Awesome. I can't believe it's you. It is me. I, it's, I would have spent eight grand on it. Um, you know, I don't know. I definitely though, I'm happy with my virtual pinball machine. And then, fun fact, actually, since I've had this, I haven't turned on my virtual pinball machine. Uh, but honestly, I'm waiting for this 10.8 VPX update to be official. Then I'm gonna definitely hop on and play. But I have not played virtual pinball since I had this. So I, it's, I'm gonna do that live on camera. I'll do a live stream of that because um, I don't know. <laughs> but definitely real pinball, it's way different than virtual. But I'm not saying this is better. My virtual pinball machine, I could get all of these cabinets. I could get all of these games. I could play World Cup soccer, get my fix on one machine. So you could take with that info as you would. I honestly, somebody messaged me, he's like, do you think this would ever come to VPX? And I was like, I don't see it. I don't see VPX running this. <laughs> There's so much going on. I don't, I don't see it. But uh, yes, that's my, uh, that's my little journey. If you wanna kind of, I'll end it with like a whole conclusion, but um, I appreciate you guys listening to my rant. Now the one quick thing I didn't mention here um, uh, I, cause I just, I literally just ended and I turned off the machine as you can. I'm just going to throw this in here. Uh, but the big thing that some people forget or don't know, there is a lot of maintenance when it comes to these machines. There is maintenance involved. So again, I'm just bringing this up cause I didn't mention the thing about, I went to the arcade and their maintenance, you know, a couple machines were down. 
There is maintenance to be done on these machines. I proudly say I make it my thing on Sundays. I open up these machines, I clean the glass, I clean the play field, I'll clean the rubbers. Um, for example, on Toy Story this week, I have to clean Gabby Gabby's face because she is just murked up. Um, if you are looking at getting a pinball machine, you gotta keep in mind that there is maintenance. Things will happen. Um, Toy Story, I had to do one little minor fix slash adjustment. One of these drop targets actually came unscrewed. Um, had to fix that. That was pretty cool, but it's just awesome to like, you know, I wasn't expecting maintenance like that, uh, especially on a new inbox machine. But then again, I play the hell out of these machines. So just keep in mind, I just want to throw this maintenance thing in. I do take care of my machines. Yes, my ceiling is a little bit low. I am able to get my tables vertical, but it doesn't go against the back glass to stay up vertical. Um, I basically got a big two by four that will keep the play field up. But uh, yes, just a little side note, especially even when it comes to virtual pinball, even arcades, there is maintenance to be done. You'd be surprised so many people buy these things like, oh, it's a set it and forget it kind of thing. Uh, commercial places such as I have that um, four player Pandora box build in that kids play area, uh, things happen. Uh, just recently, like somebody took the ball top. I even had that Loctited. Somebody took the ball top off the dedicated four way. So I'm gonna go there, I'll give them a free ball top. I have a bunch of ball tops. Uh, but even when it comes to virtual pinball machines, yes, there is maintenance to be done. And as you can see with real machines, there is maintenance. I think I have to buy a new pack of balls. Um, Project Canada suggested after about 300 plays, you should switch out your balls. <laughs> but yes, just wanted to throw that in. Uh, again, maintenance, you know, going back to what I mentioned about the arcade, you know, you have over a hundred machines. So I understand that there is quite maintenance to do. So you do have to keep that in mind, but yes, I maintain my machines. And yes, I do turn them off when they're not being used, they're off. And I do have like this, I actually use the stock. Um, I'll show you right now. <laughs> so I still use these and I still have these from when I originally unboxed my cabinets. That's basically like my protection. <laughs> I still have them. I always have them on when I'm not using the machine and I do take it off when I am using them. But yeah, you gotta maintain and keep it purdy. It's like a baby. <laughs> it's like, I don't want anything to happen to it. That's why I still have the wrapping on it. <laughs> Again, I have so much to talk about. I, I don't even know how I'm gonna end it. I will definitely do a recap of it. But uh, you know, going back to Facebook, I did find somebody, it was actually kind of cool. He's got a couple of uh, pinball machines that he's willing to rent out. He had an ad, it was 650. Of course, when you look at a pinball machine at 650, like, whoa. Uh, 650, his ad was um, you could um, rent. He said you could own this machine or you could rent, it really should say rent. He said you could rent this machine until the new year for 650. And that ad has been up since like, I would say September or August. So for 650 for four months, September to October, November, December, to January for four months. And he had a couple of interesting cabinets. He had like diner. One that he did have was TMNT. I'm not a fan of Ninja Turtles, but I did see TMNT at Pinball on and at round one. And it looks like a table that I would try out. It looks pretty cool. Um, and I think he also had a Deadpool. So you could rent it for 650. I would probably reach out to him just to get my fix on that. But um, yes, uh, I love my machines. Uh, as far as like a conclusion on it, uh, you know, theming is big to me. Uh, again, Go Godzilla is right now, I believe it's known to be the top selling cabinet for Stern, but I'm not a Godzilla fan. So I'll probably go play it. Luckily I have Pimmel on and I could go play that. And uh, I could just spend 20 bucks and play all day and get my fix on it. But uh, as far as the Godfather, man, I love it. I have yet to scratch the surface on that. <laughs> Uh, but again, theming is one thing. And number two, again, I do give a big shout out to the barcades, the people that have them, that are doing them. Yes, it is a business. Yes, there is money to be made. I have always thought, and my brother even said to me too, he's like, yo, why don't we open up a pinball arcade? And I was like, if I was gonna do that, there's definitely a strategy I would have. And that strategy would be that every machine would be in its own enclosed cubicle. If that makes sense. Uh, that's what I would do. If I was going to do that, 
Um, you know, not to mention, you know, give it, give the option to stream it, put dedicated streaming rigs on it. But that's my vision. If I was ever going to do a pinball place or an arcade place like that, each pinball machine would have to have its own, like, I don't know, four by four room. Again, my biggest thing is I have to hear what's going on. And these arcades, when they have, you know, music, not blaring, but when they have like music and, and you know, you basically have machines fighting over and I'm trying to focus on what I have to do, what's the shot. And if I can't hear it, I, I literally walk away. And uh, that's probably my only one take on that is uh, I would make its own room. <laughs> so theming and sound, again, with Jersey Jack, with the headphone jack, man. What a game changer that is. And yes, I know that Stern has the option, but I believe that's an extra additional fee for that. Uh, I think they should include it, honestly, if it was me. But yes, sound is a big deal. And as you can see, I went, I thought I could just get my fix. And uh, here we are now with two <laughs> Jersey Jack pinball machines. The Godfather is, and I don't know if you could tell it on camera, I should have said in the beginning, I still have the plastic wrap on my, God, on my Godfather. I almost said Godzilla. On my Godfather, I still have the actual plastic wrap. Um, even on the side rails, I still have it. I don't know, I, I have that thing where like, um, I like to keep it wrapped. <laughs> Not to mention with like a two year old, luckily she doesn't come down here and I make sure there's no like pens and markers here. Uh, but I just take the step. Toy Story didn't come with wrap on it. I kind of, not that I should say I wish it did, but uh, yeah, I still have my wrap on the Godfather. Something about me and like these, like, uh, I'm trying to compare it to something else. Even honestly, when it comes to like PCs and game consoles, like my PCs, the glass, I still have like the vinyl wrap on it. <laughs> Cause I'm like, it doesn't bother me. Uh, yeah, so yes, I still have the vinyl there. If you still see it, it's there. Um, I, you probably, again, this is gonna be the last video for pinball aside from streaming it, but uh, I, I'm, I'm in love with the hobby. I would definitely want to go now to the expos. I would definitely dabble into that. I would have went to Chicago, uh, but when I heard the rumors of Elton John, I knew it was a pass. Stern didn't really announce a game. I guess they did the, uh, the Elvira. Again, a theme that I'm not interested in. Um, Pinball Island has an Elvira. I played it for a little bit. But yeah, uh, there you go. <laughs> Uh, it is what it is. I love my machines. Uh, I was gonna say before this video, you'll hear me addressing the haters of my topper mod. Two months, and you you kind of see it. It's still there. The car is still there, sitting there collecting dust. So if you are a hater and you watch this entire video, um, you're still a hater in my mind. But uh, those gunners, as you can see <laughs> in the attract mode, they go off, and my brother loves it. Like I said before, my, I, I forgot to tell my brother. My brother wasn't into pinball. He was just like, Vic, man, you want it, dude, get it. You live once, get it. And sure enough now, he's yelling out call. He texted me one time, a random call out. Uh, it was just funny. And now, any chance he's around locally, he comes in, he'll play for like an hour. And Sundays, I got the TVs here, he'll watch football. I'm just into pinball and he plays. We do take turns. Um, I don't like doing player one and player two. I hate that feeling. I would rather just start a game and then end it and then we'll switch. But yeah, somebody that, that has not played pinball, the, he'll, he likes the Godfather over Toy Story. But he's getting, he's getting used to Toy Story, meaning he's aiming for like the high score on that. But it's kind of funny that somebody that hasn't played pinball, he's actually gravitated more towards the Godfather than with Toy Story. Again, in my mind with these two machines, I have the best of both worlds. I have a beginner table and I have, I consider it an expert level game. Um, yeah, I have best of both worlds. Yes, I can finally post this video. And again, uh, it's funny, Project Canada is like, there's a lot of YouTubers now that went from arcades to now doing pinball. I'm like, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> I will still build my arcades and talk arcades and play arcades, but yes. It's been a long time coming for this video. I could finally delete the videos on my phone. <laughs> Again, if you stayed and watched my whole little thing, I appreciate it. I hope my stories bring some laughter, smiles, and joy to your faces. But uh, yes, 
there you have it. Vic VP. I love my machines, man. I love it. It is probably the best thing I ever got. Like, purchase wise, it's probably the best thing I ever bought. Love it. Thanks, guys. <laughs> thanks, thanks for listening. I'm glad you guys stayed and hang out. <laughs> Bye.